I'd like to thank Blue Land for sponsoring this video. Have you ever thought of making a quilt pattern? Well, this past year, I have been making maple and eucalyptus with Gnome Angel, 100 sampler blocks, 22 colors in one pattern. There were some challenges and it turned out more beautiful than we could have imagined. So stick with me and I'll show you how we did it. Hi, I'm Karen Brown of Just Get It Done Quilts. I give you tips, tricks, and strategies to help you make the quilt that you want to make. And if you like what you see, please click that subscribe button. Back in July 2022, Angie Wilson, also known as Gnome Angel, and I sat down to talk about designing a pattern together. We both like making quilts that had a wide variety of blocks in it, and she wanted a new pattern for her 100 Days 100 Blocks Quilt Along. And we were doing a sewing cruise together in April 2023, where we would use this quilt as a teaching tool. So after a lot of discussions and a lot of laughter, we decided upon this concept. It had to be a sampler quilt, similar but different to the ones we had done before. It had to have 100 blocks. 50 would be designed by Angie and 50 would be designed by me. We wanted a pattern that covered all the basic skills from straight seams through half square triangles and hourglass blocks to Mary's triangles. The blocks needed to lend themselves to fussy cutting and take advantage of Angie's template sets. And it had to fit the 100 days, 100 blocks concept of a different block every day. Now, you might think that we had all the time in the world because that first chat was well over 300 days ago. But in order to have the pattern available for the cruise and this year's sew along, we needed to have those block layouts locked in by August 22nd. Our first attempt was okay. We had 100 blocks that finished at eight inches, but it just didn't feel that different from kinship. We didn't want just pretty blocks. We wanted blocks that could be combined together to produce new designs and symmetries. So we went back to the drawing board and refined our concept to include any size block up to eight inches which meant that quilters could use two strategies to assemble them. One, you could frame them with coping strips of different thicknesses to make eight inch blocks to make a straightforward 10 by 10 grid. Or you could get creative and combine the blocks together to make bigger blocks and other layouts. And as our initial layouts were done, we realized that our quilt needed a name and we played around with animal names like moose and koala, bear and kangaroo. Then we tried some food like apple and bananas, maple syrup and pavlova. But when Angie said maple and eucalyptus, I knew we had found our title. And when we added a bit more color to the layout, we knew we had our cover quilt. Now we just had to produce the pattern. At this point, Angie and I needed to talk business, specifically copyright. Because Angie already had a production system in place, having previously done Kinship Fusion and Make the Cut, she had a well thought out layout with a graphic designer and a technical editor behind her. So it was agreed that she would own the copyright and I would earn a royalty. And while she worked on the first draft, my role was to make the cover quilt. With all these bright colors, we wanted to use Andover Century Solids. And we were delighted when Andover decided to partner with us. Andover sent me a color card, which I immediately cut up into color chips. And I'll be honest, playing with color chips is one of my favorite things to do. Computer screens just don't do fabrics justice. They lose a lot of texture and vibrancy. And while I could see them up close with all their color undertones, I know it was frustrating for Angie as we discussed the colors over Zoom. For the blocks, we had to have a discussion about what white to use, and we ended up going with a bright white. But we didn't go to black. We chose this really rich purple called Jam. And these are our final color choices. And they looked even better when the bundles came in. So now we're talking about the first week of January. Angie had produced a first draft of all 100 blocks. That is a layout of each individual block 
the cutting instructions and the assembly diagrams. Now, I had the challenge to follow the exact instructions and test the results. I'm giving another shout out here to Andover Century Solids. Not only did I enjoy their vibrancy, I loved the weight of the cotton and the fineness of the weave. They cut, sewed, and pressed really nicely. And you can see it in the results. You know how challenging I found working with white fabric. With a dog in the house, I had to wash my hands over and over again to keep the dirt from getting on my whites. And I am so glad that I found Blueland products. Their hand soap has become a family favorite and is now in every bathroom in our house and my studio. And this is how it works. You fill your forever bottle with warm to hot water, just to the watermark. Drop him one of these bobbin size tablets into the bottle. And honestly, watching it dissolve never gets old. And with no shaking or stirring, they are ready to use in minutes. Refills run a little more than $2 a tablet, which is less than a coffee from my local store. I like them so much, I use their all-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner, bathroom cleaner, and toilet cleaner too. Not only is it affordable, effective, and sourced from clean ingredients, Blue Land uses no single-use plastics in any components, from bottles to tablets, wrappers to shipping materials. And these boxes are perfect to be repurposed as project boxes and drawer dividers. If you click on my link below, you'll get 15% off your first kit and you don't want to miss it. When I came back from QuiltCon, Angie had finished off the second draft of Maple and Eucalyptus. Before we started this project, I had no idea what a colossal job it was. A hundred blocks produces a lot of details. And with this draft in hand, I had a hard copy printed. And fresh from my experience of making the blocks, I got out my pencil and gave it one last look before it went to press. Before I sewed my blocks together, I had to triple check that I made them correctly as well, because this quilt would be reference to the cover graphic. So it had to be perfect. I ended up making 11 new blocks. One because I used the wrong color, five because I had either flipped the blocks or put the colors in the wrong place, two because I put the frame on upside down, and three just because I thought I could do a better job. If I had been making this quilt just for myself, I would have accepted them the way they were. But it's not a loss, as these will become a nice cuddle quilt. At this point, I have four weeks before the cruise. It will be our backdrop and our teaching tool, so it needs to be done before we sail. As per usual, I am struggling to find a quilting design. There's a huge variation in value in this quilt from white to dark purple, 22 colors in total, and a square grid. I want something that will highlight the blocks and how they're made. So that means that the straight line quilting and the pantographs are out. And with the clock ticking, I realize that I need to do something custom. While my brain is trying to figure out exactly what that is, I make the backing from some Allison glass fabric. It's 43 inches wide, so I will need two lengths sewn together. Because this graphic is laid out in a grid, I take the time to do some fussy cutting so that the circles align. And now it's time to get it loaded on the frame. My first idea of straight lines within the frames turns out awful, and I rip it out after two blocks. Then my long arm suddenly stops, and I have to disassemble it to change a fuse. So I pivoted, echoing the frame of the block and adding some free motion quilting inside. And I decide to change the technique with each color. And though this idea was within my skill set, I need to change the thread with each colored block. I also needed to keep everything square. I had put so much effort into making the blocks well, I didn't want to get sloppy on the home stretch. So unfortunately, 
This part of the quilt took way more hours than I had initially planned. I finished off the frames with just two days before we sailed, but then I had the blocks to quilt. For these, I got out my rulers. I did a first pass with the dark purple, then the white, then the orchid, and then the gray. And truly, I only had time for the bare minimum. At 4 a.m. on the day that we're flying to Fort Lauderdale, I am squaring up the quilt and attaching the binding. I think I had two hours sleep before we needed to get to the airport. And I finished hand sewing the binding in my hotel room and the first night on board the ship. We had a wonderful class of students on the cruise. Everyone worked hard to stretch their skills and they have the blocks to show for it. The cruise was a month ago and I put maple and eucalyptus away as soon as I got home. All my children were home as my daughter was getting married. And there was a lot of other moving pieces going on behind the scenes. But this past weekend has been so beautiful. The skies were blue, I was in the country with my parents. So why not take a hike to the top of the hill and get a picture of a quilt in the wild? Well, it turns out this was not a one person job. So let's try that again with some help from my folks. I don't know about you, but it took my breath away. All the hours invested in the making was worth it. The colors, the blocks, the layout, it all works. Thank you, Angie, for bringing me along this ride. We made something beautiful together. If you would like your own copy of Maple and Eucalyptus, I will include the link in both the description below and on my website. You will also have access to three bonus layouts bananas, bonkers, and falling leaves. Pre-Quilt also has coloring pages for this quilt where you can play with your own colors and fabrics and design your own layout. I hope that you will join in this year's 100 Days 100 Blocks Quilt Along and you'll find everything you need to know at nomeangel.com. Frequently asked questions where you can get the templates and more. Angie is the queen of the quilt alongs, an amazing quilter and fussy cutter extraordinaire and you'll be in good hands. Take care and I'll see you next time.